Boys, he's out there, folks. Let's get him. All right, item seven. Detective Belkin commences on to cover today as one of our city's disabled citizens. That's a fact. <laughs> now, Mix Wheelchair will be circulating proximate to banks in the area, bounded by Elmwood, North Delaware, and Sumner Streets. Nature of the undercover commands area patrols to particular alertness for backup. Or at item eight. Uh, Robert Hill enters the squared circle this evening for what he claims will be his fistic swan song. Yeah. Yeah. 8.30 shop at East Street Gym. Now Bobby tangles with vices Dwight, but ugly Stafford. Yeah. 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 middleweight crown. Now, tickets at Morrissey's or via Officer Schnitz. Now, let's remember, proceeds resuscitate the PAL boxing program. They're going to have to resuscitate Dwight Stafford when Bobby gets finished tattooing his noggin. Yeah! Cordy will root for both seafarers safe return to port. And secondarily, that Hill cleans Stafford's Clock. Yeah. Item last. A continuing reminder that betting with bookies over the next fortnight is not only fiscally imprudent, it can buy you a bust. Now, all bettings and otherwise advised should be mano a mano. All right, that's it. Let's roll. <laughs> and hey, hey! Let's be careful. Uh, No jokes, please. I mean, no, a lot of pain. No jokes. I just wanted to tell you how good you looked last night. My thanks. You got me solving, too. My pleasure. So now, uh, what should we do? Should we lean or should we back up? Yeah, come on, Bobby. Vice is already calling about action for tonight. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right now, it'd make me even money to live. Hey, super cop. Hey, nice fight. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Are we ready? Ready for what? Yesterday you said you wanted to try being a gift. Would you change your mind already? No, no. Okay, then let's go. Where's your chair, hot shot? You can't come with me, Jerry. Hey. We got a rotten enough out there without some amateur giving us a bad name. They won't allow it. You could get hurt. Oh, now, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? I might have to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair. I'm sorry. Detective, I require a word with you. Sure, Lieutenant. You okay? No, I am not. I was about to assist two uniforms on an off-duty arrest last night when I discovered that my service revolver was loaded with blank cartridges. I don't know what you mean. My inference is that you had access to my gun while I was in the shower yesterday and you replaced my live ammunition with blanks. Let me get this straight. You're mad because I kept you from killing us. The only thing that you kept me from doing, detective, was bringing down a felon. Oh, yeah? What do you want to tell me about that? What, the phone rang? You got mixed up and answered the iron? Lieutenant, I think you ought to go talk to the captain. You have no right to touch another officer's equipment. You and I have nothing further to discuss. Good day.
Captain. Earl Luboff. Thought we did business yesterday. I've got a worried client here. Mr. Seltzer okay. seems... I wouldn't try bait and switch if I were you, Ben. We've copied your tapes and we have your signed authorization to use them. Look at me, Captain. Nobody's trying to pull anything. We gotta talk. You gotta get me a better deal. In exchange for what? I'll give you something in exchange. Please, Captain. Neil, J.D.? Okay. They should have known I was stand-up. They should have known Ben Seltzer was the right guy. Instead, all night I get these phone calls. They tell me I'm a dead man. Who does? Promise me. Get me relocation, then I'll tell you. Ben, we have to know what you've got. It's what you've got. You got a rotten department. You got a whole division on the take, and then they're gonna kill people? You back that up, and you'll have your deal. Oh, I'll back it up. You just keep me alive. Not with no vice cops. Ben, I think a stipulation to terms might be appropriate here. I have to see something on the table. Ben, I wouldn't give back one unless we have some guaranteed... You want to start? Little Switzerland. Ben, shut up. The lock is at the 119th Street Depot. There's more payoffs there than a bank! Shut up! I want this agreement guaranteed by your chief in the DA's office. Work it out. You'll recommend? If he'll deliver, you want him protected? Ben's indicated that he has some personal No, problems. try and sell a business like mine with a police escort. All right, end of business latest. I want him out of the cold. Let's go. Ben. Think he's dealing in the street, Captain? Put a tag on Seltzer. I don't want him out of our sight. Stake out the lockers at the 119th Street Depot. Continuous surveillance by camera until I take it off. Got it. Uh, Captain. Have you uh, seen Lieutenant Hunter today? No. Why? Okay, now, he swears I'm wrong, but I don't buy it. I think he put a gun to his head last night. I think he tried to kill himself. If that's true, J.D., I need to hear everything you know. The guy was in such bad shape. I didn't want to take a chance, so I put some blanks into his gun. Now, he comes in today with some cockamamie story and a bandage about that big on the side of his head. Why didn't you tell me this yesterday? Hey, you don't say something like that on just a hunch. The captain, the guy's out on the ledge. You gotta talk to him now. Ray, where's Howard? Sniper call Oak Street. Henry, Henry, take a ride with me. Blue Fox One, have you got access on the second set of stairs? Blue Fox One's a fox leader. Blue Fox One, continue to reconnoiter. Roger, Blue Fox Leader. Can I speak to you for a minute? Now, Fred? Henry will fill in. All right, give the lieutenant a read on the position. Right. Okay, lieutenant, we got a lone gunman. Last window on the left corner of the building. Howard, I just had a talk with J.D., and I'm concerned it may not be appropriate for you to be out here. Now, just a minute, Frank. J.D. thinks you tried to kill yourself. It's nonsense. What's that? That's a household mishap. Or a powder burn. Frank, I am fully able to meet my professional responsibilities. Here. Fox leader, Fox leader. Can you take him without injury? Not probability if we get distracted, sir. All right, Blue Fox, I want you to prepare for tear gas. Stand by. Valentine, prepare to deploy tear gas on my command. Blue Fox wanted Fox leader. I want you to move in on him on two counts after the tear gas goes in. Do you cut? Affirmative. Are you prepared? Affirmative. 
Stand by. You ready, Valentine? Yes, sir. Now. Back up positions, let's move. Any further questions? See me at the station. Stop following me. Who says I'm following anybody? I got just as much right to be on the street as you do. Not when you're interfering with police business, you know, so you turn it around and beat it. Oh, what are you going to do, bust me again? You got it. Hey! Hey! You know what your mistake is, man? You think it's just a guy in a wheelchair. Well, it ain't. I mean, it's an attitude, man. Dude, it's the way of life! Look at you, you're standing up! It's just like I said, man. No soul. Bobby Hill's here to pick up his tickets. Hey, Bobby Hill. I saw you won your fight. Come on, I got your number. How you doing, Bobby? Hey, did you get your mouthpiece? Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to talk to you about that. And, uh... No, Steve, I ain't got the mouthpiece yet. Andy. See, Andy... I got this problem in that I had to spend some of the 20, which I appreciated, you gave to me. Forget about it. Because I got my first fight Saturday. I could pay you back after that. So I was wondering maybe if I could borrow a few more. No, no way. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey, uh, here you go, Bobby. If people want ringside, you gotta come early. Okay, thanks. Wrong Bobby, numbskull. Good. Right. Uh... I'll see you guys. You really got a fight? Shields. Sure he does. Bill and Irish put him in with a black guy. He'll do some business. You got a future? You want to know what his future is? He gets flattened twice, pocks a little change, commission takes away his license. Then he moves to another state, puts Irish in front of another name, and he gets knocked out some more. The future for him is drilling into a cup that's stroking out at 50. Get your kids, Huck. 
They'll live long. Let's go, Steve. It's a suspicious looking character if I ever saw one. Get a picture. Uh, not to my last two shots, babe. Hey, come on. Who's to say she's not the chief trigger for some crazed female assassination group? Yeah, she could murder me. Hmm. Man, I just can't believe it. What? Hunter. Trying to do himself in. That's the last cat I would have thought. Neil, a guy that's wrapped that tight, he pops the mainspring. The only thing he's thinking is to eat his piece. Look at Hogan in South Ferry. Yeah. Kimball in Castle Heights. Manowitz. Baker did it with an Italian number, seven millimeter. Sankey. He took poison. Hey, what about Peppertone? He smoked it. Same as Appleson. Benedetto. Man, it must feel good, something like that. I mean, uh, stopping the suicide. You ought to know, pal. You did it enough times for me. Hey. Mm. See the guy over there? Mm -hmm. Look familiar to you? Yeah, I don't know. County Courthouse. Man, that's Judge Cole. Oh, no. This is too sweet. Uh, let's take it real easy, bro. Yeah, but let's take it. Final call for bus 91. What's he doing back there? So get him up, would you? Come on, kid. You can do 60 miles an hour on a city street. You can sit up straight. It's this final, man. Have you ever looked at this final back here? It's got, it's got like these... Holes, like like craters on the moon, you know, like craters on the moon with little holes and and inside there's like these shadows behind the shadows, there's like these little things with torches, like little people with torches trying to signal us. See what drugs do to your brain? You're talking like a crazy man. Joe, there's a goose over there attacking a vegetable stand. All right, you stay put. You see that ashtray? Keep your eyes on that ashtray. Don't get out of the car, you understand? Officers! Officers, come here, will you please? Gotta be honky, huh? Please, officers, it's a fine here. Look at this thing. I can see it, sir. It's all over my vegetables. I see Please, show me the right hand, please. Cuff him, Luce. How do you want to do this? I'll, uh, I'll just go for a push. I'll go low and you just go high. That's all. Just... Take it easy. Hi. 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 Honky. I'll Honky. count to three and then we'll do it. Yeah, that's good. All right. One, two, three. Oh, look. 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 Oh, he told me his name was Chuck. That must have been a hell of a fight. So that part didn't work out. We had to feed him animal tranquilizer on a lettuce seed. Hey. Where'd you get animal tranquilizer? Right here. <laughs> this kid was going 60 down Utica in a spaceship, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think Hawkey ain't half the evidence. Hey, hey. Leo. Uh, beef cellar's empty. Give him a pan of water. Gonna clean the kid up. They had to show the back of the unit. 
Open up the locker like it was the front door to his house. Mm -hmm. Bag was kind of hefty, too. You trail him? Back to the courthouse. Took the bag inside with him. Now, we nail Heiser on a manslaughter rap. Cole vacates the verdict. What do you want to bet there's money in that bag and it's coming from Heiser? Nothing to say it wasn't picking up his jump shots. We have to get him on tape. I want to get a look at that bag, too. All right, how about we plant somebody on this calendar and see if he bites on a bag? Hurry, grab for the DA's office for this afternoon and see if we can avoid entrapment. Okay. Excuse us, gentlemen. All right. What's this book he sells to got that's worth our giving him relocation, Frank? He claims he can substantiate widespread corruption. Can he? tapes he gave us yesterday were as advertised. I understood they were also antique. He gave us a drop location for payoffs, which turned up Judge Milton Cole. Hedzel Roll Cole? We're sending LaRue in this afternoon to see if he'll take a bribe. LaRue will be wired. Good for you. Seltzer also claims that Midtown Vice is completely compromised. Let's follow it out, Frank, wherever it goes. I intend to. Uh, having said which, I have a favor to ask. Sounds to me like you got one coming. It's about Howard Hunter. He's on some of Seltzer's tapes from 15 years ago. Was he on the take? He was a bag man. He never took a cent. What do you need, Frank? If he could be spared an IAD hearing. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Full bore on the rest of it, Frank. Full bore. Occur to you whose precinct that was? Yes. Commander Cleveland of Midtown. Wouldn't that be something, Frank, if Ozzy got tarred with this brush? I think the whole department would be tarred. I don't think there'd be any winners, Chief. You're right. Keep me posted, Frank. Forget about the stupid chair. You hurt anywhere? Oh, I know that. Nice. Move your arm. Nah. Move your fingers. I, it's okay. I'm all right. <laughs> he just clipped me, is all. <laughs> Give me back the chair, okay, Mick? Come on. He, he came out like a crazy man. I could have killed him. Hey, don't have a cow, all right, buddy? No lawsuit. <laughs> Hey, we got him, didn't we, Mick? You are under arrest, dirtbag. <laughs> Short date for the preliminary. Legal possession and discharge. Preliminary hearing, 1 p.m. tomorrow. Ten minute recess. All rise. His 
Honor. Got a minute? Court business. Chambers. Uh, Judge Cole? Yes? Detective John LaRue, Hill Street. What can I do for you, Detective? Just give me a couple minutes of your time. Shut it. Uh, I'm one of the arresting officers on a case you got coming up. That boy Rothmore, you're arraigning this afternoon. And? I'd like to give you a little background. As long as it's only a little. This kid's got problems. Most of them behind the wheel. You got kids, Your Honor? Teenagers? Two. Well, then I don't have to tell you anything about kids. Uh, this kid's got great parents, and they're just sick about this. Now, they realize Walter's gonna get a fine, but they're real worried, because it's his fifth offense. Fifth offense should buy him 60 days. There it is. That's the tragedy. See, his folks are hoping he'll get past this and go on to college. But with that on his record... Your point, detective. You see... Walter's parents are involved in all sorts of charity work. And what they said to me was they'd like to make an appropriate contribution. $2,000. In return for? A little understanding of this kid's situation, a little looking out for his future. Now, I think the PBA should get half the money and, well, some judicial charity the other half. I'm not opposed to showing a little mercy, if the occasion merits it. Oh, I think it does, Your Honor. I think this is a salvageable kid. Now, they were wondering that if they do make a charitable contribution, could you choose it for them? What's that? A thousand cash. For the judicial charity. Suspended sentence. They'll really appreciate that. Oh. There's a couple officers waiting outside to see you. Should I show them in? Who? They'll introduce themselves. What's going on? You're under arrest, Your Honor. Just trying to call you. Henry. I'm sorry, I should have called you before. Can we talk? Now? Sure. So, did we ruin a perfectly good relationship or what? You know better than that. I called you twice. I waited all day for you to return my calls. It was inconsiderate. I didn't hear you go this morning. I didn't want to wake you. Tell me the truth. Were you disappointed with me? No. Well, then why did you leave? I guess I was scared. Of what? 
I don't know. Didn't please you, maybe. <gasps> Are you kidding? Henry, <laughs> you're a wonderful lover. Oh. Thank you. Sure for the weekend. This weekend? <laughs> yeah, we could leave Frank Jr. with Frank, take the baby with us. You know, nothing fancy. Uh yes. Oh uh, just get away. Let's do it. Are you sure? Yes, Faye. I'm sure. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. I mean, you were trying to get yourself killed. I was huh? leading him a little too far, that's all. You're going to lead him right into jail, Nosebleed. I am through with this from you. Now, you go in there and wait for me. Taylor Herbert, suspicion, grand theft person, and resisting arrest. Hey, what about me? I thought I was under arrest, too. I said get in there! Let's have an address, Mr. Taylor. 1412 East. Unicorn. What are you, deaf to play in English? What's the matter? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I told you a million times. I just need some water. I'm thirsty. Over there, and then I want to see you with my dad. Yeah, yeah, okay. See me. Here I am. I want you to know I spoke to Chief Daniels about the tapes. Well, I don't think there's any need to protect me, Frank. I'm fully prepared to confront whatever charges the department wishes to bring against me. There aren't going to be any, Howard. But frankly, I, I don't think departmental consequences should be your biggest concern right now. Well, it seems to me that we've proven my ability to do the job. And, uh, in all due respect, uh, I'm not sure that anything further is your business. I'm also your friend. Friends, uh, respect each other's privacy. Privacy, yes. Not hurtful isolation, Howard. As your captain, I have to be concerned about the 20 people working under you, too. Now, you haven't seen one moment of behavior from me that would give you any reason for concern, nor would you. I'm sorry, but handling one situation in the field doesn't convince me hard. Frank, I've given you no cause. Judas, don't take my job away. That's not my present intention. But I'm asking you, please, to seek professional help. I'm urging you to... I don't believe that that's necessary. I don't think you even realize what you've done. <laughs> I botched a suicide attempt. I had a box of live shells in my closet. An ample opportunity to make a second attempt to work. Frank, I chose life. Come on, Howard. If J.D. hadn't done what he'd done, you'd be dead right now. There's no neat capsule you can fit that into. I'm asking you to seek help. Please. I'm asking as a friend. Well, as a friend, I'll consider it. Mm -hmm. 
got some room. Call the paramedics. What happened? He was drinking water. I was behind him. He kept drinking water, and then he just fell out of the chair. Get his feet elevated. All right, we're going to need a blanket here. Blankets! Everybody stand back. He's not breathing. Medics are on the way. What's wrong? What'd you stop for? Help him! I was just talking to him. Come on, damn it! Breathe! Move away, Mick, please. Gee, I was just talking to him. Judge Cole. Just coming in now. Erwin! 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 There's been a terrible mistake. Get him into interrogation. Get Captain Frilla. Judge Cole, you've been advised. Erwin, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I suggest you have an attorney present. There was absolutely no need for an attorney. What you'll hear in that tape is my trying to elicit evidence after felonious elicitation. What about these, Judge? What were you trying to elicit in the bus depot? I was in a bus terminal. What's that supposed to prove? We have pictures of you picking up a bag of money. We have the bag, $10,000 in cash inside. We have the wire, and we have you. But I'm not going to prosecute you, Judge. I'm turning you. You're going to give us faces, names, and places. And then you're going to resign in disgrace, which is what you are. just got a call. We lost the tail on Seltzer. Yeah. He shook it. Trying to pick it up. A guy like that's got a lot of mouse holes. Any real bad feelings, Frank? Bob? All of it. You've got people openly making and receiving bribes. That establishes habit and duration. It establishes a belief of impunity. Let's see where it goes, Erwin. I'm, I'm trying to make a point, Frank. I know. And I'm saying to take it easy. My point is this. If this is in the fabric of things, if you've got a pervasive corruption... Uh, driving up, I'm thinking, this could go any place. This could reach into my own office. I'm a company man, Frank. It scares me not knowing who to trust. We could start with each other, Erwin. I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate having someone to talk to. Same for me. Thanks, Frank. Sorry about getting so nervous. John? Yeah. I want to apologize for my outburst this morning. Hey, no problem. Especially under the circumstances, it was unconscionable. I believe these are yours. Uh, Lieutenant, you feeling okay? Yes. You know, in Japan, your sort of intercession would entail your watching over the rest of my my earthly career. Oh yeah. I want you to feel no such obligation. Thank you, John. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I 
I mean Tom Shorter. Are you on the goose? Oh, sure, Mr. Shorter. He's right back there. The uh, cell door's unlocked. You can just take him home. Thanks. I gave you artichoke cards. I bought you live grasshoppers, and this is what you do to me. You obey other people. You go out on your own. I want to wring your neck. Leo! Leo, what's going on with that goose? What have you done? You have killed a defenseless animal. I didn't. I swear. I never touched him. I walked in to put the leash on, and he just fell over. I could have you arrested for cruelty to animals. Wait a minute. I could just say I was going to eat him. Then I'll have you arrested for a slaughtering livestock in a public area. You keep doing it to me. Get out of here. Get out of here before I'm no longer responsible for my actions. Poor guy. After all he went through. Must weigh 30, 35 pounds. Probably all dark meat. Ice. Upstairs refrigerator. I... I think there is a container in supply that's big enough. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna kick some butt. We're gonna show some stuff. If I don't get him in 30 seconds, cut it out. Then you're gonna do it to me. Robert Trello with thoughts like that, Norman Vincent Peel would have died, bro. Yeah. 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 Uh, honey, you gonna hurt somebody? I'm hurt somebody. You're gonna hurt somebody bad. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt somebody bad. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt somebody bad. Get up, show me how to do it. Okay. Get up, show me how to do it. Get up, show me how to do it. Hey, we can arrest you, Bobby. I got 13 bucks in there. Do that, man. Don't forget that. Forget that trap. You're breaking in there, weren't you? Weren't you? Yeah. I just needed a few bucks. Come on. Now, I'm going to let you walk away from this one, Bobby. That's the last rhythm you're going to get. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Take off. I see you, Steve. Good luck. Yes? Hey. Hi. Hey, how you doing? How's he look? How's he feel? He's got to kill him. He's gonna do Pearl Harbor with this guy. Is he doing the Americans or the Japanese? Introducing in the blue corner, representing Hill Street, weighing 163 pounds, Bobby Blueberry Hill. At 165 pounds, Dwight Stafford. Damn, that man is ugly. That man is but ugly. From Metro Middleweight Championship. Three rounds of boxing.
Steve Harvey. Do you know where you are? St. Louis. And Mama. You want me to go come? Mama? He's, he's supposed to come around. I suppose I mean him at the station. I think he's gonna be late. Say goodnight, Gracie. Bobby, you hurt? Only his pride, Joseph. And my head and my body. Listen, if you're up for it, why don't we go have a beer after this? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that too. All right, so I'll meet you at Mulligan's. I'll have him set up an IV drip. <laughs> We had a tough night. Thanks, Larry. I appreciate the courtesy. Found Ben Seltzer behind a supermarket in the Heights. Shot five times. Doesn't have to be Armageddon, Frank. They can all still be unrelated incidents. I wouldn't bet on it. I can't. My boogie just croaked. <laughs> Tell me about your day. I had a C plus. Hmm. So something in Lehman's I may or may not buy you for Christmas. Tell. No chance. And don't even guess. Keep thinking about rats in the house. For everyone you see. Enough, Frank. Good. Sorry. I'm sorry. Johnny wanna know. <laughs> well, he's walking pretty good. Lucky puss, that's all. I didn't see you in there taking any shots, big guy. That's right. <laughs> you know, the way you went down, Bobby Hill, mm. I just wonder you don't have a concussion. Hey, I'm uh -huh. just lucky I don't have to do it again. This kid is retired. Oh, come on, Andy. The final is a silver medal. That's right. And tomorrow I can wake up, my headache will be gone, and I'll still be pretty. <laughs> Stafford will still be. But ugly. But ugly. But ugly. But you ugly. Very ugly. Very ugly. Sorry. Let's just keep on walking. Suffer's late. Not on my account. Okay. I don't want to kill him. Fucking, and I ain't for his lady. Oh man. Hey Steve, Bobby, pretty damn stupid, Bobby. No brains. Too many shots to the head. I figured two year bit, right? Three, maybe five. Upstate. Food's pretty good. I wouldn't know. Hey, Bobby, you win your fight? Nah. Don't worry. Don't get discouraged. <sighs> I want you to be careful up there. I done time before. It ain't so bad, hell. It's okay. Just take it easy. So long. Going home, huh, Steve? 
Thanks for the help. Gee, I thought sure you'd want to go see Bobby fight. It wasn't your fault. Think about him bleeding inside and not even knowing it, dying. I killed him. How can you say that? Because I promised him. I said I'd let him teach me about wheelchairs and then I told him to get lost. And I think people were always promising him things and building his hopes up and then telling him to get lost. You know, everything you've told me about Gaffney reminds me of somebody else. Independent. Defensive.